Hey, what's up guys, Synapse here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you masking. Masking is a really important technique. I use it for all kinds of stuff, and I'm gonna show you a few examples of how I use masking to make my videos look epic. So let's take a look at Shivity's brand new Battlefield intro. And you can see as I scroll through it, the text is tracked to the scene, so it hovers perfectly in the middle of the scene where it's supposed to, but things get really wonky when the wall gets to about right there. All of a sudden the text is in front of the wall. It's not supposed to be in front of the wall. It's supposed to be behind that wall. When you use tracking, this normally happens. So let's make this very simple. And here's what the scene looks like with no text. And if we look at just the text by itself, the text looks just like this. And now I have the two layers here together. And what I wanna do is I wanna mask this so that the wall seems like it's in front of this text. I'm gonna take the background layer and duplicate it, and I'm gonna position it right before it touches the text, about right, about right there, okay? And on the top layer only, I'm just looking at the top layer so I make the bottom layer invisible. I'm gonna use the masking tool to draw a line, like this. And now I've masked out the wall. So just the wall gets masked out. Nice. If I press M on my keyboard, I can see the mask layer. And maybe I want to give it a little bit of feather, but not much. Maybe just one or two pixels, just like a little edge blur. I do want to add a mask path, and I'm going to keyframe this path. So I need to put a keyframe here, and I need to follow it as it moves out. Shift click. So now I can just pull this out and make sure that it's tracking properly to the edge. Right now I'm gonna move it down a little bit more, a couple of more frames over, and I'm gonna drag this over. It's gonna put down another keyframe. Shift click that little point so I can make an adjustment. And let me just drag it back and forth, make sure we're still in business, and just drag this over. So it matches. Okay. Okay. So it follows pretty good. We can make some fine adjustments. Let's take a look at the text. What I need to do is drag this layer to be above the text. There we go. So you can see now it looks like the wall is in front of the text. Awesome. Uh, let's show this bottom layer. That's going to be the background. And let's see how we did. Already better. Nice. Check it out. So right here, I can see that there's like a strange line right there, and that's going to be due to the mask. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find this keyframe right here. I'm going to split the layer by pressing Control-Shift-D. I'm just going to split it and delete it. The other way you can do it is just drag this over so this layer ends uh, at that point and it's no longer needed. All right, cool. So we can zoom in and really fine tune the edge if we wanted to. Look at that. There's a crack in the wall. So if you wanted to get very um, precise, you could add more points in this crack so that the, the text shows up correctly. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that just to be thorough. Let's see where we first notice it. Okay, right here. So I'm going to drag this over, and we can add some more points. I'm going to select the pin tool, and I'm going to add a point right there, and I'm going to add a point right here. So I can drag it over. See that? Add a point right there. I think those are the only points I'm going to need. I could do more, of course, and really like, you know, dig in. But so I'm going to go down about right here. And uh, let's take a look at this point right here. Now we're just going keyframe by keyframe. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. 
automatically. We could try using the uh, roto brush tool and do a couple different things, but this is a masking tutorial. So let's just mask it keyframe by keyframe. The best way to do things sometimes is just one keyframe at a time. i put that right there at the tip. This is gonna have a very smooth look for us. And then we'll double check our work. And kind of, I see the shape changes right there. So I'm just gonna kind of keep the outline. So now it's even better. Look how it sticks right to the edge. And there's like a little bit of like shininess right around the edge. That is so cool. So there's what the final looks like. If you like this intro, it's actually for sale on my website. I can make it with your name in it. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay, let's take a look at Gamers League. In Gamers League, I created a really cool effect where it looks like there's like this shiny brightness that goes over the logo. You see that? It's like swoosh. The next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this layer by pressing Control D. So I just simply duplicate it. They're both the same. The top layer, however, I'm going to mask. And uh, I'll create a little bar that looks about like that. Press M on the keyboard to see the mask. I'm going to keyframe that mask right there so that now I can move it. And I'm going to drag the time over a little bit. And I'm going to drag the mask over here. So check this out. The mask is actually going to move over. Uh, I'm going to hide the layer below it. So you can only see the top layer. And that's what happens. I'm going to apply curves. Just to the top layer. Make it really bright like that. See that? And I'm going to pull down the mask menu and I'm going to apply some feather to it to make it a little blurry on the edges. Maybe even make it even brighter. Okay. So when you see both layers, the top one is the bright one and it gives that effect like there's light passing over it. And we can even add another one. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Press U on the keyboard to see my keyframes. And I'm going to slightly offset this. So now that there's two bars of light that pass over. And you can apply some other effects to these layers as well, like some glow. It really bring a glow look to it. I can copy that effect and also apply it to the layer below it. Make these a little closer. Uh, if you like this video and you found it helpful, please subscribe to the channel. That's a free way that you can support the channel. And I'm very grateful for every subscriber. And uh, there's going to be a lot more of these tutorials on the way. Good luck and have fun.